With the release of the findings, the family members of Michael Sharp and Zaida Katalan were present in the council, with calls increasing for a new UN mechanism to further the investigation. It's time for the Secretary General to move quickly to set up a UN investigation so that we can find out who killed the UN experts. We can't rely on the government of the Democratic Republic of the Congo to do this. We need the UN to have its own investigation to work with US and Swedish authorities and hopefully with cooperation from the Democratic Republic of the Congo so we can find out who did it. We need to keep open the theory that Congolese security forces may have been involved or perhaps even behind the killing of these experts and we can't have the government of DRC actually investigating itself. The bodies of the UN experts were discovered weeks after their disappearance, including Catalan's beheaded corpse. The bodies of the interpreter and their drivers have yet to be located. The Board of Inquiry has called for a criminal investigation to be conducted and completed by the government of the DRC with the support of other member states and a review of support provided to expert activities in the field to enable informed decisions unacceptable security risks in the future. Security in the central regions of the country remain precarious with over 3,000 deaths and more than 1 million displaced since insurrection by the Kamuina and Sapo militia against government forces began nearly a year ago. As the Board of Inquiry summary says, they've identified a number of people. What we don't know is who is behind those people who they've found. That's what we need to get down to. Um, it's hard to say whether they're going to be able to do this, but certainly with, if you pool all the resources of the UN, which has eyes and ears on the ground, the US, the, F the FBI, and the Swedish police, and ideally with the government of the Democratic Republic of the Congo cooperating, I think we can solve this. Several UN member states have called on the Secretary General to now establish a special independent international investigation. Sherman Briceby's SABC News, New York.